Genesis chapter 50, starting in verse 20 says, As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, to bring it about that many people should be kept alive as they are today. So do not fear. I will provide for you and your little ones. See, we get to see from Joseph, someone who has rested in God their entire life and wants to reach out to others. And that is the foundation of the very book that we read. And that is what the Bible is truly about. A lot of things are meant for evil, but God will turn those into good if we will allow Him. But it comes back to that relationship and resting in Him. See, most people see the Torah, they see the Pentateuch, they see these first five books as the law. In fact, in it, we all talk about the different commandments. In fact, that little known fact we were discussing yesterday, most people look at this and they say there's ten commandments that Moses gave. And there were ten commandments, but did you know that in the Bible there are over 600 commandments? Man, how tough is that to keep those? It is so difficult for each one of us. In fact, we wouldn't even know what they all are. But what it comes down to is us having that relationship and getting through this and loving others. There are things that are meant for evil, but guess what? We can turn those into good when we rest and rely on God. Don't look at the Bible as just a book of the law. It's a book of love. The next book in the book of the Bible is Exodus. It's an actual departure. And there's something that takes place in here that you may not be aware of. I'll share what that is 